All right, folks, and it's Alan Clark again. I'm going to um, just go into a little bit about uh, using the drum, uh, the actual drum kits that come supplied with Ableton Live 8 Suite, okay? Now, the one that I've opened up is Kit 808. Now, I'll just I'll let you hear, first of all, what the, the beat I've created, and I'll let you see it, okay, when this Skype thing goes away. Right, now, an actual uh, beat I've laid out, it's just uh, nice and quite simple. Okay, so it's, it's quite nice noises and everything, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, now that you, you can see what's playing, I'm going to just uh, show you what, what, like, the way I go about creating my beats, deciding how I'm going to use the beats in the track, and how I go, up, just how I go about making adjustments uh, using uh, Ableton Live 8 and all the, the different options that you can, you can really affect on this, okay? So, we'll come back over, and you can see the beat there. Again, feel free to copy the beat and play along if you want. Now, when we come over, um, with the uh, Ableton Live 8, all of the, the drum kits that they've actually created, they've all got different types of effects on them, so I'm just looking at this one kit specifically. Um, the method that I go through can be transferred to, obviously, any kit, but just the actual effects that you're going to have on them will be different, unless you're going to change them, of course. Now, anyway, we'll get into this. Now, once it's playing, okay, I want to first decide if all the noises are quite good and if, if I like them and how, how, you, how do you go about adjusting them, okay? So we'll come back over now. Each of the, the drum noises here that are playing, you can see it, it flashes uh, yellow um, when everyone strikes. Now, just now I'm looking at the snare now, I might decide that in the, the mix the snare's not quite loud enough for me, okay? So, again, double click on it and it opens everything up here. Now, the thing with Ableton 8 is I've actually went to the hassle of creating all the drum noises using Operator, okay? Um, and they've done quite a lot of different things. You can go and affect quite a lot of the, the different things on it, okay? The tone and everything. So, and all of these are uh, set up to do things, but if you want to simply know how to do the volume, just open up and come over and go to the Operator volume. You can adjust it, so... There we go. So that's fine. So I've got, I've got the beat. I just wanted to. That was the one that I'd left that I hadn't adjusted. Okay. So just to show you how you would go in and do that, you close that back down. Just double click on it again. Okay. Now, what I recommend you start doing if, if you don't do this already is putting a bit of swing or whatever uh, onto your beat, a bit of groove onto it. Okay. Now on the uh, the old able and there used to be a, a little. Uh, set numbers up here that you could click and drag and that would apply just a bit of swing onto it, okay, but in Ableton Live 8 it's a lot better, so the way that you go into that is you double click on your kit, okay, you come uh, on the, the actual clip that's playing, sorry, you come down to Groove and you just go in and you can pick them, now, pick any one, okay, and you can hear the change it's made, now, the little thing here, click on that and it actually, bring this down a bit, it opens up all the different, uh, grooves that you can have. Now, I've obviously got this in swing just now. To listen through them all, you just use your arrow keys and hit enter, and it changes how the beat sounds. We'll come up to one that's going to be radically different. You can see it makes a quite a difference. It's subtle. That one, obviously, you can see that that's made more of a difference, so you can hear what I'm talking about. I just, it just changes the, the, the sort of emphasis that's put on the individual notes as if a drummer was playing, okay? Now, for the purposes of this one, I'm going to use Swing 16 uh, 3 here, though. Quite liking the groove on it, okay? So that's that, the swing sorted out, okay? So now we come back to the drum kit. Now, what I've done just now is I've assigned the MIDI um, knobs to each of these things so I can have a jam, okay? And I can work out what's actually... What, what controls I'm going to have just over the stock sort of uh, effects rack for the, this drum kit, okay? Now, when you're going, I'll let you hear some of the different things that it can do. I'll just play about this for a wee second. Drop the bass back. 